Hi there, this is Jay Johnson with windowpurchase.com. Welcome back to yet another video. This is going to be more of a POV video. I need to kind of be close up so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, the subject is going to cover double hung windows, the windows that go up and down. I want to cover things called vent locks or night latches, which are the same thing. I want to cover the tilt latches and how aesthetically pleasing or not that they are and how easy it may or may not be to clean the window. Case in point, if you watch my videos 97, 98, and 99 on the Fibrex window, that is the most difficult double hung window I've ever played with. It's, uh, it's not an easy system. I also want to cover weather stripping around the window. How many pieces? Because the less weather stripping, the less energy efficient. And I also want to cover interlocks. Does the window have one? Does it not? And how does it attach to the window? So let's start with this one. These two windows are both vinyl, but we're going to start here. I'm going to point out all the features at once and then move progressively across. I'll be showing you three windows. These are vent locks or night latches. You typically only see these on vinyl windows and they're for added safety or security. So when you lift that window up or you push the window down, it gives you some degree of safety and security. And I have not seen these on wood windows, a real wood window, I haven't seen them on. I haven't seen them on a fiberglass double hung and I have not seen them on the Fibrex double hungs. You typically only find them on vinyl. Your second thing is the tilt latches. You can see this is a wood look even though it's not a real wood window but the tabs here are a gold color they're plastic, they do wobble, they make the window kind of look cheap, but what you do is you pull these together and it allows you to tilt the window in and when you pull the top down, now you have the big white ones on top and you pull those together and you tilt the window in. Okay? Now the other thing on this window is it has six pieces of weather stripping. There's one piece up here, but nothing on top here. You have a little weather stripping here and here. And at the bottom underneath, you have one rubber bulb strip. One of the big mistakes that they went cheap on on this window is there's no interlock where the two windows meet. And I'm going to show you what that is. When you have windows shut on a double hung where the sashes meet, you really want those windows to come together like this. You want a nice deep interlock. All that window is doing is coming together like this. There's no interlock going on. And that brings us to this window. I want you to notice this window had one lock. This one has two. And while we're on it, this has one as well. When you have two locks, you're going to get a better seal. These have vent locks on them that are much nicer than this system. There's different grades of this stuff. This is the higher grade vent locks. And of course, when you lift the window up or down, it gives you added safety and security. Now to tilt this window in, all I'm going to do is push these to the back because they don't have the unsightly plastic latches. That window comes down. When I pull this down, you don't see anything on top except weather stripping. Yes, it has double weather stripping plus a piece up in the head. But all I do is pull these together and the window comes down. This window also has 21 points of weather stripping around the window. 21 points is a lot. The other thing here, this has a very deep interlock. This is three quarters of an inch. And you have the same thing going on where the back side of the sash is. So when those windows are shut, what it's actually doing is this. It's a very deep interlock. The other thing is this is not an add-on piece. This is integrated into the window. In other words, there's no screws holding it on. Now, when you get over to the all fiberglass window, which is very similar to the Fibrex window in my opinion because of the lack of features, you don't see any vent locks on here because they're not available. Also, there's no triple pane glass available. And since glass drives 90% of the efficiency of a window, 
if the best you can do is double pane, that window's never going to fall into a high performance category. Now this is an easy tilt system. You push down on this button and swing this over, then the window comes down. Then when you pull this down, you got the things up on top, and you pull those together and the window comes down. But there's a couple design flaws in here. There's no weather stripping up here. There's no weather stripping up here. There's no weather stripping here. And there's only one rubber bulb seal down at the bottom where my finger is. So underneath this window, there's one rubber bulb seal. Serious lack of weather stripping. The other thing is, it does have an interlock, but it's extremely shallow, maybe an eighth of an inch. It's also beige, even though the client wanted white. And it's held on by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. And it's made out of plastic. So it's an interlock, but it's not much of an interlock. And these are some of the features that make up windows. And it's some of the features that make one window better than another, or one window worse than another. You have to understand that in the window and the door industry, for the most part, as a rule, 85 to 90 percent of the manufacturers, their concern is not how good of a window or door they can make because they have to worry too much about wholesale price to the dealers. Dealers are not going out looking for a wholesale price window that they can buy it at um, at a higher price because then there's very little room for them to mark it up and resell it back to you. Your better manufacturer's main focus is, wait a minute, I could take that money this, the sales guy is going to use as a markup, the dealer, and I could sell directly to the homeowner, and that allows me to use better materials, put the window or door together in a better constructed way, use better components, and have it come with a better warranty. And then honestly, in the 19 years I've been doing this, there's maybe only 10 to 15 percent of the companies on the market where that main concern is making the better window or door to come directly to the homeowner. And the whole premise of that is for longevity, durability, better warranty, and high performance products. Anyway, I hope this video helped. My name's Jay Johnson, windowpurchase.com. If you like my channel on YouTube, please subscribe. And uh, thank you very much.